You, you, cannot, you can't interview me. I got to interview you. <laughs> so. Uh, his three-point attempt. Probably that, the only one that was ever. probably, yeah, probably just nicked that ball, and it fell short, and we went bananas. Paul, Sarah, Jeff, Bill Green, like, they've all done it in a different way. And I think that that's what this sport is all about. Well, I think Sarah, first and foremost, Sarah Castle and I were college teammates at the University of Illinois. Uh, we were teammates on Team USA. Um, won some national championships together, won some gold medals together. Yeah, to be honest, man, um, this is my first Hall of Fame event. And to feel like you have a connection with all of the inductees that are going in, um, to be honest, it's kind of surreal. Definitely speak to Glass a little bit, because, you know, I was around Waywater a lot in the late 90s. Um, just I don't think the sport's ever seen someone quite like him. Um, Sarah I got to play with a little bit, and so she kind of was a very good leader while being on the USA team with her. Knew Bill Green back in juniors and, and you know, played against him in juniors. Um, like you said, I went to school with Sarah, played on the national teams with Paulie and Glass, you know, learned the value of hard work from Glassbrenner and learned how to be a leader from Pauly. You know, it was crazy that these all of these inductees I've actually had interactions with on some sort of level, like playing against their castle. Holly being one of the first people, mentors that I looked up to, uh, you know, uh, Jeff Glassenburner, I played with, played with him with USA uh, back when I was a rookie, you know, a newbie. But Paul Schulte was a guy that for me, when I look at, now he's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, but like he was up on my wall, uh, a poster and it said like, keep on dreaming. And this is like a prime example of like when you do that, when you leave a legacy, when you make a, a, an imprint on this sport, it, it lasts a lifetime and you get inducted to, to be a part of um, a select few. I want to know what these inductees mean to you personally. Oh, man. Okay, well, yeah, all of them have had such an impact on me personally in the game, and so... You know, like like you said, I met Glass when I think I was 14 or 15, when he started playing wheelchair basketball. Right, because like when you see all the players that you admire for me, it was Deb Sunderman, it was Susie Grimes, it was like those women that came before us. Um, but Paulie just always sort of rolled that line. Um, he's a super, super intense, uh, fiery competitor, but just impossible not to like him. Oh man, I think each, not just a ball player, but they give back in different ways and, and they help out supporting and making the sport grow so yeah sarah has done so much outside of just playing basketball um, she was president of the nwa for years which is a really hard job it's not just basketball what else are you doing to keep the sport you know live and stuff so. i think each one of the people that have been inducted could have a night of their own like we could we could throw an induction for them just by themselves for, for the contributions that they give to the game. Um, Sarah I got to play with a little bit and so she kind of was a very good leader while being on the USA team with her. Um, I really looked up to her in that way. What was our first red carpet together? At a final four. I do remember it now. Polly, I'm gonna let you enjoy your night man. This is we're all here for you man. Give me a big hug. I love you buddy. I love you, buddy. Congratulations. Yeah, absolutely. We, we we look a little flyer now though. We look a lot flyer. I like I like I like the, I like the sneakers though. I should have did it too.